Hello, kindergarten. We're going to try to make a picture today that shows space, like in artist Romero Brito's race car painting. If we look, if we looked at his painting. He had a race car, he had a racetrack, he had some hearts flying behind the car. We're going to try to show space. So first things first, we're going to take a crayon and from the left side of your paper, draw two lines and they're gonna get farther apart as they come towards us. This makes it look like the road is big when it's close and it's small when it's far away. And then we need a race car because that's what it's all about. So you might wanna start with maybe a triangle for the car. I can have a half circle for part of the driver. You can add some other rectangles on the car. Then on the side, you need tires. So rectangles are good for that. I know a tire is a circle from the side, but when you look at it from the front, it looks a little different. I can always add a couple more triangles so it looks like a race car. Maybe put a big rectangle at the back for my spoiler. Put a couple extra lines on his helmet. Now we have a race car driving down the track and it's big because it's close to us. And if you want to add things flying behind the car, you can. Like Romero had little hearts back behind him. Just remember, if they're close, they're going to be big. If they're far away, they're going to be tiny. He also showed some of the landscape in the distance, like the ground and rays of light shooting up by the sun. And try to stretch your lines so they go clear out to the edge of the paper. And since I'm trying to show space, I think I'm going to add another race car back here, only I'm going to make it much smaller since it's far away. It's way behind the other car. Add some big tires. So this driver has some catching up to do. Next, we're going to add the patterns to it like Romero did, but we're going to use some texture plates textures how something feels or if it's visual texture it looks like it should be bumpy but it actually feels smooth. And I have a lot of these plastic plates are in bags, one bag per table. And you're going to pick a plate, just work with one at a time, you can always trade later. And we stick it under our paper and then you rub with a crayon. And when you rub that pattern on the texture plate is going to show up on your page. You're still trying to color nice like you normally do. Say I want a different texture. I'm going to switch my plate, lay it underneath exactly where I want it, and color with my crayon. Sometimes it helps to tip the crayon, kind of use the side so the texture will show up. If your plate isn't working, you might want to flip it over. There is a right side and a wrong side on some of them. If you have an area that's very, very large, say I want to use this for my grass back here. I can rub it and then I have to pick it up and move it so I can finish filling in that texture. And when your whole page is covered, you're done. And here's my finished racetrack. Since this picture is based on artist Romero Brito, who used really bright colors, you can use any color you want when you're doing your picture. Your, your track doesn't have to be black or gray. Your tires don't have to be black either. Use whatever color you want when you're filling this in. Just make sure when you rub, try to use the side of your crayon and try to stay in the lines the best you can. Have fun.